Yo guys and welcome to a new video! Today you will be watching the first trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Okay, so we officially have the trailer for the first Phase 5 project of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and I gotta say, Phase 4 was fun, wasn't the best phase in the MCU, but I liked certain things of it. Didn't like everything, didn't love everything, didn't hate anything, so yeah, it was interesting to see where the MCU was going after the Infinity Saga, and now we're here in the Multiverse Saga, and we have done the first third of the phase for completion. We only need to watch uh, the uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie, which I do think will be great, will be a great send-off for Phase 4. And we still have the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special left, but there's nothing on that, so I... Will it still count? Probably, yes. Werewolf by Night dropped out of nowhere as well, so maybe... They just hang on to that marketing for a bit. Uh, but yeah, today Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I know for a fact, and certain people know this already because I have talked about it, my journey with the MCU did not start with Iron Man. My journey with the MCU started knowing what the fuck Ant-Man was. And I know when I was uh, still a young boy six years ago, no, Actually, it's already eight years ago. Wow, I have been a long time fan. All right, so when I was becoming a fan of superhero movies, I always was the biggest fan of Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire loved him. Didn't even know anything about the existence of Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, just Tobey Maguire's. And then a friend of mine wanted, he told me that there are more superheroes and I knew that already. I knew there was an Avengers movie. I knew there was a movie about the Hulk. I knew there was an Iron Man movie somewhere. I even knew about the existence of something called Guardians of the Galaxy, but I never bothered to watch it yet. So when I did, I was watching all of these movies, but I thought, hey, these feel connected in some way. So I asked Wallace what it was. And he told me about the existence of the MCU, the, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I didn't know anything about it. So then I started watching them all back to back and started to watch them all. And back then it were only 10 to 12 movies you had to watch to catch up to everything. Now it's 48 projects almost. So yeah, I'm sorry for new time fans. <laughs> but I was watching the uh, MCU and whenever I was watching the MCU, I got ads for Ant-Man and I was actually quite mad with that because I didn't know the character from the comics. So I was like, what the fuck? Are they this delusional to make a movie about a man with the powers of an ant? I was actually quite mad. I thought this is gonna suck ass. I saw the trailer and I hated the trailer just because I didn't open up to it. Uh, but when it was time for me to get ready for a Captain America Civil War. My first MCU movie in the movie theater was Captain America Civil War. How about that? But when I was catching up to that, I came to the point where I had to watch Ant-Man. And I freaking loved it. So yeah, my journey with Ant-Man has been a long time coming. I knew about him before I watched the MCU. I hated his guts before I watched the MCU and I loved his guts when I was watching the MCU. Paul Rudd is the most awesome, awesomest awesome man out there, so I really love it. Uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, the movie that came right after Avengers Infinity War, I didn't love. I was I went to the movie theater alone. It was one of the first movies I actually watched alone in the movie theater. And I didn't love it. There were some good parts in it, but I felt like it was misplaced to be having that after Infinity War. I know why they did it. To catch up with us for Endgame to where Scott Lang is and to where we are heading with the Quantum Realm. But it was something weird about it. And now we're here, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, the third movie, the climax of the Ant-Man franchise, the theories of Ant-Man dying in this one. Cassie Lang taking up the mantle after the young girl who I always forget her name of is... I hope she still gets a small role in this. I mean, I loved her in those movies. She was great. 
And it's so sad that she's now more grown up. She's now a teenager instead of the little girl because... I felt like that little girl had a lot of good time on that movie and I hope we get to see her in a cameo so that she's still involved in this. But okay, now we have a movie that is straight up tying into the Kang Dynasty. We have Kang the Conqueror, we have a lot of shit going on. We have Bill Murray, we have a weird hairstyle for Hope Van Dyne, uh, but of course it's just her hair so I don't mind but I saw memes about it. Uh, so yeah. Let's just watch it. I'm ready for it. I think they won't have the sentence from Are you an Avenger? Have I killed you before? Uh, yeah. I didn't think that was going to in it, going to be in it because I'm watching this a day later. I was working, sorry. So yeah, I'm excited. This was a long talk before me, uh, before I got into the trailer. But I am so excited to get into this because I'm really excited for this movie. Now, let's go. Ooh, I love Elton John. Wait. Just give me... Yeah. I'm not watching this in bad quality. That's better. I used to ask myself a lot of questions. Scott, you're at ex-con. How are you an Avenger? <laughs> Employee of the century. <laughs> hey, he has a new suit. But everywhere I go, people tell me the same thing. Oh god, he's hey, famous. Spider-Man! Spider <laughs> people still need help, Dad. That's why we made this. Oh, Cassie! It's like a satellite for deep space, but Quana. Wait, wait a minute. You're sending nice. a signal down to the quantum realm. Yep. Turn it off. Now! Oh, he looks different. Oh, shit. Cassie, what did you do? But not again! Oh, without suits! Normally I had to have a suit or it would explode, but now he now he's wearing a suit. Where are we? Oh, I love Elton John! What is this? It's a secret universe beneath ours. Oh wow. So afraid of. Hank Pym looks so different. There's something I never told you. That's what? This place. Hey, this looks like the Ten Rings. The Ten Rings technology. What you think? <laughs> oh God! Bill Murray! I can get you home. Oh shit. More time. Oh wow. If you help me. Oh, it's gang. So what's it gonna be? Ant Man. <laughs> Quantum Mania. Oh shit, I have no idea what was happening, but I'm all here for it. Yep, absolutely no idea what the fuck was happening, so I'm gonna watch this video for that. But wow, it was good. <laughs> I'm really excited for this movie. It looks like it's becoming great, uh, but some weird things happening, like they got all sucked into the quantum realm without, I don't know, having a suit on. So that's interesting, because I have always thought that uh, a comic accurately, your head would explode. But then again, comic accurately, uh, he had his helmet, had the Lot Giants thing, but this was still free. Or did they say it in the MCU that your head would explode? I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, but, well, interesting. Cassie was making a satellite thing that obviously went wrong, and Janet Van Dyne said, No, please, stop doing that. Like, Janet, you have been there for 30 freaking years. Why did you say so to the people that you love? Why didn't you tell things? Why did you have secrets? Why is everyone having this great ass hairstyle? Why is... What's his name? 
Not hoping Hank Pym. Wow, Jesus. <laughs> Why is Hank Pym having this great of an hair, great as hairstyle? Why was Ant Man covered in blood? What the frick was happening? What is Bill Murray's role? I have so many questions right now, but I'm all here for every this single bit of it. I can't wait for next trailers. I can't wait for seeing more of Kang in the next uh, trailer in this movie, and I just can't wait. The MCU is going back to being great. I feel it. Let's go. I'm ready for it. All right, what did you think of the trailer? Please let me know in the comments down below because I'm really excited to hear your opinion on it. Thank you for watching and goodbye.